Hi friends, this is Aishwarya from Freshersworld.com. Welcome to our YouTube channel on Jobs and Careers. The topic that we are going to look today is Surds and Indices. This is like a simple simplification that you feel in number systems. So let's just go inside the concepts so that you will be able to solve the uh, sums better. So, laws of indices and laws of certs. So let's just cover the laws of indices first, then we go to the certs. These are just basic concepts you should know. You don't have to mug up all these formulas. Once you get to know what is this all concept is about, it will be very easy for you to solve the sum. So the first one is nothing but a par m into a par n. If they are going to give you a question like that, what you have to do is that you have the common denominator. So you will take that and then add your powers. So it becomes m a par m into a par n becomes a in par m plus n. Similarly, let's take if it's a par m divided by a par n, it's nothing but a par m minus n. So next they are given a par m the whole par n. This is nothing but m into n. So that's why we have written it as a par m into n. Next is a b the whole par n which is nothing but a b here is nothing but a into b the whole par n. So while writing it you can write it as a par n into b par n. The next is the same concept as this one. So a by b the whole par n can be written it as a par n by b par n and we are, as, as we all know that a par 0 is nothing but 1. So these are the things that comes under laws of indices. In case of laws of certs, it's nothing but our simple square roots. So n root of a is nothing but a par 1 by n. So n root of a b is nothing but n root of a into n root of b because here a b is nothing but a into b. So what we did here, the same thing only is going to be applied here. Similarly, if a by b is nothing but n root of a by n root of b. Here they have given n root of a the whole par n. So n root of a can be written as a par 1 by n. The whole par n they have already given so you write it here. So 1 by n into 1 by n gets cancelled so the value becomes a. So if you see something like question like that you can directly write the value of a here. So to understand this concept better let's solve some simple sums today. So let's just get started with the sums now. So the question that they have given is 81 3 by 4. How to simplify this? We know that 81 can is nothing but 3 power 4 because we know 3 into 3 9, 9 into 3 27, 27 into 3 is nothing but 81. So it can be written it as 3 power 4. The whole power what they have given in the question 3 power 4. So if you remember what we discussed in the previous thing about the laws and services concept, you know that this can be multiplied. So 4 into 3 by 4. You can just easily cancel it which is nothing but 3 power 3 which is nothing but 3 into 3 into 3 which is nothing but 27. So 81 3 by 4 is nothing but 27. This is how you simplify. Let's take another example. So they have given 1024 the whole power minus 4 by 5. What is 1024? So if you solve it so mostly if you see that in a very simple question, you will know always the power that you are going to take here and this will be same for a simple question. So here I am taking this 1024 I know it is nothing but 4 power 5. 4 power 5 the whole power what they have given in the question minus 4 by 5. So 4 power 5 into minus 4 by 5 so which is nothing but 4 minus 4. So how we can write it nothing but 1 by 4 power 4 is nothing but 1 by 2 5 6. So 2 5 6 is nothing but 4 into 4 into 4 into 4. So the question they have given is 1 0 2 4 the whole power minus 4 by 5 which can be simplified into 1 by 2 5 6. So once you see the question just see how it can be brought out to the nearby value which can be cancelled by the power that they have given. Once you know that concept you can easily solve it to a variable here. Let's just solve a couple of other sums. So the next sum they have given is 0 0.0016 the whole power 3 by 4. So how it this can be written? Nothing but 16 divided by 10000. So the whole power 3 by 4. Okay. So how this can be simplified such that you can cancel it over here. So 16 is nothing but 2 power 4 and 10,000 is nothing but 10 power 4 the whole of 3 by 4. So these have a common powers here. So it can be also written as any 2 by 10 the whole power 4 into 3 by 4. This can be cancelled now. 
So 2 by 10 can be also written as 1 by 5. So 1 by 5 the whole power 3 which is nothing but 1 by 125. So what did we do here? So they have given a decimal system. So we just converted it into a fraction and then we made sure we got a power number which can be cancelled by the power that they have given. Then once we cancel it, we get the answer. So simple as that. So let's go to the another question. So they have given 17 power 3.5 into 17 power x is equal to 17 power 8. So based on the concepts we know, we can know that this plus this is equal to this. So nothing but 3.5 plus x is equal to 8. So nothing but x is equal to 8 minus 3.5 which is nothing but x is equal to 4.5. So they will give you this question and ask you to find what is the value of x. What do we do? Based on the concept, we know that whatever is there in the power, we generally add it. So 3.5 plus x and equate it to here. When we can do this? When all these numerators are equal. So we see 17 across the equation. So we take this. So 3.5 plus x is equal to 8. And we do that x is equal to 8 minus 3.5 where x is equal to 4.5. This is how we solve the sums. Let's just solve one more sum on this topic. So the next question that they have given is a by b the whole power x minus 1 is equal to b by a the whole power x minus 3. So when can we equate this equation? When a by b is there throughout. So here they have given b by a. So how we can change it? If you take the inverse of it. So this can be rewritten as a by b the whole power minus of x minus 3. So, write the same equation again, a by b, the whole power x minus 1. Now, it's a by b and a by b across. Now, you equate it. So, x minus 1 is equal to minus of x minus 3. x minus 1, this can be write, written as 3 plus minus x. So, take the x there. So, 2x is equal to 4 and x is equal to 2. So, what they have given in the question, they have given a by b x power minus 1, b by a x minus minus 3. We should equate it to the same base. So, what do we do here? We take the inverse of this equation, which is nothing but a by b. Here, we take minus here, minus of x minus 3. Now, a by b base is common. So, we equate the pass here. So, x minus 1 is equal to this and you get the value of x. So, these are the basic sums in thirds and indices. So, why did we solve these sums? This shows the concept that I was just telling you before. So, you should know the concept. You don't have to buy hard each and everything to know it. So, once you know the concept, which and all to add, which and all to subtract, then it will be very easy for you to solve the sum. So, if you are a person who is looking for a job, kindly register in our freshersworld.com. Like this video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you. <music>